Africa is widely regarded as the last emerging economic frontier. Creation of an all-inclusive Pan-African trade bloc on the back of quality infrastructure from ports, rail and road networks linking countries is critical. For many years there has been a willingness to look, consider how we can set up um, a Pan-African quality infrastructure that brings on, but that is built on the existing institutions which are already doing good work, but that will also answer the questions that were raised as far back as the Abuja Treaty on how Africa can actually have its own sort of continental standards, have recognition systems, norms that apply across the board. We want that mindset of all activities in Africa. Do we construct our road following the standards? If a road should be if you follow the standards should be there for years. Yeah, are we following those issues? Yeah, are we interacting with different countries? Because you might need a road, but the connectivity to all African countries is also a matter of politics and governance. That's following the standards in all activities we do. It's what we seek. Over-reliance on European markets for export and lack of standardization of goods produced within African countries are some of the hindrances towards growth of trade within the continent. One area that's very important for us is how do we, you know, we've now worked hard on reducing barriers through tariffs reduction. And that has been the focus globally and also, I think, in the context of the continent. But what is a, a challenge still is the other non-tariff barriers. And what we are tr seeking to do is to make a distinction and have a better understanding of what are the requirements in terms of uh, standards and norms for different products. Um, across the continent so that we can have a better sense of certainty and for businesses to actually gear their industrial production processes. Removal of non-tariff barriers, trade financing and facilitation are paramount for the creation of an efficient inter-Africa trade bloc. Well, what is being done is that, first of all, we have decisions that have been taken by the African Union um, in terms of boosting intra-African trade, where trade facilitation has been identified as a specific cluster. And within that cluster, there are partnerships and initiatives where we are working with member states and regional economic communities, as well as the private sector, to look at how we can actually make, uh, make it easier for, for goods to flow across the continent and less expensive. We will get more movement of, uh, of goods, services, and uh, even the people. East Africa, for example, is coming up with a common tourist visa. Those are the small little things that are going to add up to make a difference. If we can have a, a, a tourist coming in and able to move from Kenya to Rwanda to Uganda, what more can, uh, can we ask so that uh, we, we start enjoying from the synergies of what exists in this, uh, in, in this partner state. Counterfeit goods, however, continue to pose a challenge and it seems as though African countries cannot agree on the best way to eliminate them owing to varying import legislations across borders. Our anti-counterfeit institutions, in the past, we have not really taken them uh, uh, seriously in the way of uh, supporting them because we have not really understood their importance. Because if we are going to have uh, uh, counterfeits come in, it is a very clear way of killing the industries within and therefore losing the jobs. And as we realize this as, as uh, countries and again as regions, we are now putting everything in, in its right perspective. We will guard those jobs the best way we can by making sure that this institution function and function efficiently. Other than creation of a Pan-African quality infrastructure advisory, what should be done and what initiatives are underway? Let's add value to our products, yeah, using all the area of standardization, being using standards, being using accreditation service, being certification of our products. That's the main part. Then let's recognize that we should not only look at other market. We should also look at the African market itself. How EAC can trade with SADC, SADC trade with Comesa and Arab region. That is the key issues. How the ac acceptability of our products. Yeah, not only looking at the West as if it's the only market that exists. 
some of the initiatives that are looked at are good practices that are already happening. One-stop border posts are being considered. Integrated border management um, you know, systems are being looked at. Which are the most efficient ones? How do we make sure that um, as much as we have the flow of goods, there's also proper monitoring of what is flowing across borders? And, um, and linking that also with a better idea of what, what is the volume of trade that is happening on the continent. Because we know from official statistics, we know that we are underestimating that, um, you know, that trade. So, I mean, I think you're probably aware that um, at a continental level, studies that have been done by UNECA and other partners are indicating that, you know, of all the trade that's ha that Africa is engaged in, only about 12 to 13 percent is amongst African countries themselves. Achievement of the Millennium Development Goals is pegged on socioeconomic advancement, but proper deployment of quality infrastructure will boost trade within the African borders and foster attainment of the MDGs.